Are Amazon tools truly worth it? Is it a safe option? Let's talk about it. I got this, these, along with these as well. And these are just some of the tools that I've gotten and, and it has, has served me well through this. You know, it's been out of necessity that I've already walked this road my own life. And the short answer is yes, there are legitimate options on Amazon, but you have to be very careful with what you choose. And if you're new to the trade and you're still building your tools, then Amazon is a legitimate alternative. For example, this Mega and this signal generator were purchased as stepping stones. You know, I, I bought them years ago and they've really helped me elevate my technical skill set so that it would push me further in my career. As it turns out, they've done so well, I've not needed to upgrade. You know, they've, they've done a great job. And so what that's allowed me to do is invest in other tools that, you know, have got to take me that much further. The disclaimer though, they are fragile. You know, they can't take the abuse that, you know, you could put a fluke through. But I also understood that when I bought them. At the same time, even if I did break these, you know, this Mega is 40 bucks now, you know, which is cheaper than when I bought it. When I bought it years ago, it was 60 bucks. Now the fluke equivalent to this, you're talking $500 online and no telling what locally. Now I did some research on this video and I did find that Klein actually makes a Mega that looks fairly legitimate. That's 150 bucks, but I have no experience with that one. Just saying. The point is you have a lot of flexibility and you know if this works for you it's a great asset it helps you learn how to use it if it doesn't it's a minimal investment that you can easily return now i have a guest you know he has some input on this as well so everybody meet james hello i'm james i have 40 years in the trade and here recently dealing with this guy so my thoughts on amazon tools why would you, you know, spend the money on cheap crap when you can go buy real tools and support local houses? I mean, in my day, if, if you needed something, you just skipped a lunch and you went and got it. If you would cancel some of your online subscriptions nowadays, maybe you'd have enough to... So what you're them. saying is no tools are better than cheap tools? I'm saying is suck it up and buy the real thing. And what qualifies as a real tool? Come on, you know, American tools made at the, you know, at the supply house, Klein, Fluke, Vito. So how do you explain my results then? You know, all my tools I've bought, you know, I still use today and you know, they've helped me take huge leaps in my service ability and you know, I've been able to buy three tools for the price of one real tool. Son, just because you finagled your way through it doesn't make it good advice. All right, well, thanks, James. Obviously, there are multiple lines of thought on this. I think both have valid points. If you have the ability to, you know, I agree with getting you know, the better tools. But if it comes down to leveling up your career, you know, for something that's temporary and manageable for you right now, then take those steps. You can gain the experience, you know, you'll have a way better understanding of what is right, you know, and what is the right tool for you, the real tool, when it comes time to buy. Anyway, I hope this helps guys, you know, leave a comment, let me know. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with James? And, you know, What's your experience? As always, appreciate it. I love you. MTT, make the time.